You mentioned at the top of the newscast, Arkansas has now surpassed the 1,000 mark for positive cases of COVID-19. The Arkansas Department of Health says we have 1,071 cases. However, no new deaths being reported today. That total standing at eight. Recoveries in the state also now above 200, so good news there. More good news. The vast majority of tests are coming back negative, with more than 13,000 negative tests so far. The increase in numbers comes as state lawmakers work together while keeping their distance for the beginning of the fiscal session. Lex Wainwright joining us now at the latest on that amid the coronavirus. Well, Bob, as you mentioned, it's been four weeks since the state of Arkansas saw its first case of COVID-19, and now we are in the thousands. Now, one of the big spots that just reported its few or its first cases earlier this week is a federal prison. Now, there are no new cases as of today in the Forest City Correctional Facility, but Dr. Nate Smith says as of this morning, they had more people showing symptoms. He says additional testing will be done soon. On Sunday, there were 14 positive cases reported inside the Forest City facility, but 25 to 35 more inmates and staff members have been tested then. Now, Dr. Nate Smith says with the state, now Dr. Nate Smith with the State Department of Health says they are working with the CDC to make sure the facility is doing what they can to keep people who are symptomatic or exposed separated. We met with the team from CDC this morning. Uh, they will be uh, collecting additional information and then beginning their uh, investigation. Uh, we've talked with them about our priorities uh, so we have a common understanding. And Dr. Smith says that the CDC will help them determine what to do next to stop the spread of COVID-19 in that Forest City facility. But for now, again, they're separating those people who are symptomatic from everyone else. They also are saying that this has been a challenge because this is a correctional facility. I have much more on the story coming up tonight here on KRK at 10. But for now, reporting live, Alexis Wainwright, KRK 4 News. Back to you guys. All right, Alexis, thanks very much. Well,